All right. Hey, y'all. Today, we are going to be going over Instagram training day three. Um, so that means the last day of my kind of crash course to Instagram. And this one is all about growing your Instagram and inviting your butt off. And so how to get, you know, a substantial amount of followers or how to organically grow your Instagram as well as inviting. And so let me start. And so we're going to start with the dirty deets on hashtags. Um, we're going to start with the dirty deets on hashtags. So like, who are you? And that's how you're going to start realizing the... Sorry, y'all, my child. Um, so how you're going to figure out how you're going to start using your hashtags is who are you? And so you'll decide for about your hashtags on who are you. So are you a dog mom? Are you a regular mom? Are you into the bachelorette? Or are you into, we're all into fitness, so that's apparent, but We've got to figure out what you're into. And so what I just, what I always suggest is writing down 10 things that describe you best. And so those 10 things like me, I'm a mom, obviously. Um, I'm obsessed with Dunkin' Donuts coffee. I am obsessed with margaritas and all things about Mexican food. Um, and so those are just a few things that describe me and that I would help to build my hashtag list. And so how you do is establish on your hashtags. You don't want to hashtag beach body coach or 80 day obsession or um fitspo or anything like that because those are hashtags that all beach body coaches are using or all fitness influencer influencers are using. And so we want to be different. And so like me, I have a lab retriever dog. So I would hashtag like lab mom or you know toddler mom or girl mom um or fit mom but something that describes you but is not all fitness related because the people we're trying to reach out to are the people that aren't going to be using fitness hashtags and so you also want to make sure that you don't use the same hashtags over and over and over again because instagram doesn't like that they don't want us to be using the same hashtags over and over again so that's why I always recommend getting about a list of about 30 to 40 hashtags that you like. And so that way you can continuously change them and continuously swap them out. Um, so you're not using the same hashtags every time. I definitely suggest about 15 to 20 hashtags per post. And I found that you need to put it in your post. So you don't need to put your hashtags in your comments because they're not seen by many people. Instagram doesn't want that. And so what I do is I do dot, 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 like four dots or five dots. And then I um, go ahead and hashtag that. And then you don't want to be using overly saturated hashtags. So you don't want to use hashtags that millions of people are using. Like if you look at like, um, Fitspo or Transformation Tuesday or something like that. So many people are using that hashtags. So you want to keep them from about a hundred thousand and under people using those hashtags because that'll make sure that you're visible for longer. The bigger the hashtag, the less likely you're going to be visible for a longer time or get to the top of those hashtags. And so, um, because there are always people hashtagging them and it just, it never can keep up. So you're not going to be that visible. So a hundred thousand and under is the kind of key. But when you're searching hashtags to find people, so like you're searching hashtags on, you know, to follow people, to start connecting with people of your tribe, then you want to use those larger hashtags because then it'll be likely that you'll find people that you'll resonate with and it'll be easier versus smaller hashtags. Um, and then, so uh, you can use a website. So if you're having a hard time kind of trying to figure out what hashtag to use, and so like you have no idea, and then you're not coming up with unique hashtags or whatever, if you go to this website, it's called, um, display purposes.com. It'll actually help you. So you enter in a topic. So like mom, and it'll, 
put in all the corresponding hashtags to do with that topic. And so it'll give you hashtags that are relevant, but that you might just not have thought of because it's not as like fresh on our brain as like a fit mom hashtag or, or something along the lines of that. So I definitely suggest you doing that. I'm telling you guys, it's going to take a little work at the beginning, but establishing yourself a good list to be able to transfer through hashtags is going to help you so much in the long run with grow, not only, you know, with growing your Instagram, because people will start finding you from those hashtags and following you from those hashtags. Um, so let's go to where to find people to invite. I hear this all the time. People are like, I have no idea where to find anyone to invite. It's like, there's not enough people out there. I cannot find anyone to invite. You're just not looking in the right place or doing your due diligence. And so what I say on finding people who you want to invite and so this is how I always start is I start with people who comment on my photos. So if you've commented on my photos, I'll, I'll message you and invite you. Then if you comment on, like, if you like something of mine, I'll message you. Or if you watch my stories, I'll message you. And then my last thing is I'll go through all my followers and message them. Um, and so kind of the, the okay. way I do this in the order is like, I go to comments first because those are people who are really engaging with my stuff. Then I will go to people who like my stuff because that means if I message them, I'll become more visible more frequently in their stuff. Then I'll go to my stories and then I'll go to my followers. So that's kind of how I um, differentiate all that. Y'all, don't be afraid to invite these people. They obviously are already liking your stuff. They obviously already care what, what you have to say. So you might as well invite them to join you because if they didn't care, one, they wouldn't be liking your stuff. Two, they wouldn't be following you. And then when you message them, they'll probably block you if they really don't care. So if they don't block you and they're continuing to like your stuff, that means they still care about what you have to say and what content you're putting out there. Um, I get so many times people are just scared to invite. They're scared to go into people's inbox. And I always say, what's the worst that can happen? They don't respond. Okay, maybe they block you. Is that going to affect you from day to day? Is this someone that you're going to have to see at the supermarket, you know, or is this someone that you value their opinion so much that if they ignore you or they block you that you're going to get butt hurt? Because if this is a friend or if this is someone that cares about you, then they shouldn't, they should just be like, oh my gosh, no, not right now, and appreciative. And so I say invite, 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 and when you think you've invited enough, invite 10 more people, okay? So that is the best thing I can tell you is do that. And I will go over how I invite, and I actually learned this from a top coach, um, her name's Ashley Falverson. Uh, she's Emily Favre's success partner. And so what I do is I have a notebook. It's not this specific one. My notebook's downstairs. Or actually, it's right here. Okay, so I have a notebook, as you guys can see. So I number it from 1 to 30, and then 31 to 60. Y'all, I know it sounds scary, but if you want to grow this, and you want to grow this fast, you need to invite your ass off. Sorry, honey, but you do, you know, you need to invite, invite, invite. So I invite 60 people every single day, Monday through Saturday, Sunday, I take a break on my invites, but 60 people Monday through Saturday. And you're like, um, that will touch every single one of my followers. This is where we're going to go with growing your Instagram. But I'm telling you guys, it is not difficult. Like sending 60 invites takes me an hour. At most, and that's if I'm like scrolling and get sidetracked. And you don't be afraid to copy and paste. I'm telling you guys, don't be afraid to copy and paste because at the end of the day, as long as it's something you've came up with that you're copying and pasting, it's gonna sound genuine. You know, add a add. I always like to add a personalization at the beginning so they kind of feel personalized. So I copy and paste and then tell them something I love about their page or their personality or something that um, kind of resonates with me from them. But y'all, I'm telling you right now, you've got to 
in bite. And that's why we're going here. The ins and outs of inviting. Don't be creepy about it. Like, don't, if you overthink it, if you get too much in your head, your inviting is going to suck because it's going to sound like that and no one's going to respond. Um, and so it's like, you want to keep them light, bright, full of life and short, sweet to the point. If you have some long paragraph and you're giving them everything under the sun about Beachbody, there's no reason for them to respond. It's just like curiosity marketing. Like we went over in day one and day two of the Instagram training. You don't want to give too much because you want to keep them coming back, asking questions. And so if you tell them everything, oh yeah, it's lift for beach body, it's 170, blah, blah, blah. They're not, they're going to be like, okay, well, there's all my questions answered. I don't really need to respond. But if you engage in a conversation and the more you engage in that conversation, the more it's going to be worthwhile. And so I want to go over a couple of my samples and these are exactly what I use to invite people like verbatim what I use to invite people. And so these are three different styles and I'll kind of go over what I use each of them for. And so my first one is, Hey girl, I just wanted to reach out and say thank you for following me and sharing love on my post. Sometimes it's hard to put myself out there, but knowing I have supported, I have support from people like you means the world to me. You seem awesome and your profile is amazing. Can't wait to get to know you. And so if you can see this, this is light, it's bright, it's airy. I'm giving them a compliment because I might've looked at their page or, you know, I was just appreciative that they followed me and shared love on my post. I send this to every single person that follows me, regardless if they like my post, honestly, because if their likelihood of them remembering that they liked one of my posts is probably very slim, but I send that to every single person that follows me. It's, I don't always get a response because I'm not asking a question at the end. But most of the time they're like, of course, like I, I love your page or they will start the conversation and I can get that into Beachbody. But I want to make sure that they know they're appreciative. They're appreciated. Like I want to know, like I want them to know that I appreciate their support. I appreciate them following me and I appreciate a like on my post or a comment on my post or them watching my story or whatever they're doing. People will do a lot more for you and people will want to join you a lot more if they feel appreciative. So if you're sending an invite saying, um, I have like three spots left and I wanted to see if you wanted to snag one, like they're not going to want to join you with that. They're going to be like, so she basically wants me to join her because she wants her three spots gone. You know, you want them to feel appreciative. I know for me, if my husband tells me I look really pretty or, um, he loved the dinner, it was so delicious, even though it sucked, I'm going to be a lot more prone to wanting to do more things for him or to do it again if I get a compliment. So it's kind of like that with this. Um, and so a second option I have is, OMG girl, I came across your page and had to follow you. Your page is freaking motivational and the baby of yours, OMG, way too cute. Are you a coach also? So this is my coach invite. A lot of people are so scared about the coach invite it's scary, you know, but like this, it's light, it's bright. You're already giving them the confidence to think, oh my gosh, maybe I should be a coach. She already thinks I'm one. Even if you've already scrolled their page and noticed they're not a coach, I always ask if they're a coach also, because that gives them, that instills the belief in them that like they can do it too. That it's not just up to, like, it's not just you're shooting dark or you're saying that something, you're telling them what you love about their page, and asking if they're a coach, they're going to combine the two. And then like a follow-up to this, and they're like, they're going to, of course, say, no, I'm not, but thank you. And I'm going to be like, OMG, like, I can't believe I haven't talked to you about becoming a coach yet. Like, you're basically doing it by putting out this content and motivating people. And so you're just keep instilling the belief in them, and then you get them into your sneak peek. And so it might not happen right there, but at least you've planted that seed. So they know, you know what? I'm going to keep watching her because she says I can do this. She's killing it. I want to do what she's doing. She thinks I can do it. So might as well do it. And so that's kind of, you're just giving them the belief and you're giving them the power to think that everything is possible, even for them. You're not telling them they're going to be, oh my God, you're going to be so amazing. And you're going to rock this business and hit a million club because that's a lie. But you're just telling them what you think that they could be really great at this also. 
Um, and so here is like my boot camp invite. So this is actually what I'm using for the VIP group. I'm like, hey girl, I don't know if you've seen, but I'm running an exclusive VIP 60 day test group for a new program where we'll be focusing on healthy living, eating right, and working out. I'll provide you with all the tools you need to succeed. Personally, I lost 25 pounds and 32 inches during my last group. I would love to have your positivity in the group. Would this be something you may be interested in being a part of, or would you know somebody who would be? Okay, so there's a lot of components in this, but each one of them is strategically put in there. And so at the beginning, I am letting them know that I have something to offer them, that this is a 60-day test group, and it's a, for a brand new program. If you notice, I did not enter Lift 4 in there. If you put the name of the product, they're just going to Google it, figure out how much it costs, figure out all this stuff before you even get to talk to them, already set their mind up and not respond to you. So right now, they just know that it's a 60-day VIP. I put that VIP in every one of mine, even if it's not a test group, because I want them to feel like they're going to be joining something exclusive. So even if it's like my 30-day, 21, or a 30-day, like 21-day fixed boot camp or something, I'm like, I'm doing a VIP 30-day boot camp, and I'd love you to be a part of it. Because, I don't know, something about the word VIP makes people feel like it's just something special and it's something exciting, which this is. This is an exclusive group that you're running for the people who join you. So act like it. You know, like, I, I don't know if you guys were at Summit, but I'm a circle all the way. Like, if there's five people at the party, I'm going to make it sound like there was 100, even though there was only five. And so the VIP group, like, even if it's something small and you, it's exclusive. This is VIP. Like, this is as good as it gets. Um, and so here I'm also telling them what it's going to be about. So we're going to be focusing on healthy living, eating right, and working out. Um, I've actually added uh, self-love in there too because I'm really big into the personal development area um, and, and helping with body positivity. But it's telling them exactly what it's about. And then I'm telling them, I'm giving you, like I will give you all the tools you need to succeed and you won't have to overthink it. And then I'm telling them that it works because my last 60 days, even though it wasn't this particular program, I lost 25 pounds and 32 inches. So that's telling them it worked. If you haven't lost a substantial amount of weight, don't worry about it. You can, you can take that out. You can use one of your boot campers. Hell, you can say one of my girls, Allie, she lost 25 pounds and 32 inches. Like you can use somebody else's results to tell them there, but don't copycat it as your own. And then give them a compliment. I am telling you guys, people are going to do so much more for you and with you if you compliment them. I know I will. If someone tells me I'm pretty or if someone tells me I have good hair or if someone tells me that they love my personality, I'm like, okay, what do you want? Like, I'll do anything for you. Just keep telling me I'm pretty. You know, like we want compliments as women. It's just, I don't know. I don't know about y'all, but I enjoy every bit of the compliments I ever get or I appreciate them so much more and I'm so much more prone to doing something for someone if I feel appreciated, appreciated and um, loved and complimented. So I'm giving them a compliment there. I change it sometimes. So it's like, I would love your positivity in the group, or I would love a fellow mama, like toddler mom in the group, or I would love, um, I would love someone like you with that bubbly personality. I change that one sometimes, um, that part. And then I just ask them at the end, I'm like, would you be interested in this? It's like, no pressure. Would you be interested in this? I'm not asking them like, you're doing this with me no pressure, would you be interested in, it? interested in this? And here's their out. Or would you know somebody who would? And so even if they're not interested, they're still going to message back and say, um, I'll ask around. Even if they don't ask around, nine times out of 10, like I get tons of people message me back and say they'll ask around. And then I'm like, okay, great. Are you already in a fitness routine? Like, do you already have a fitness routine? And most of the time they'll message back and say, yes. Um, and then I know to follow up with them in 30 days to see if it's still working for them or they'll say no. And I'll be like, okay, is there a reason why are you just not that into fitness? And I will kind of try to start back up the conversation. And so that is a good way to kind of take the pressure off of them. No one wants to feel pressured to respond or to say yes or anything like that, even if they are interested. So it's kind of like a, you know, I, I, it's cool either way. Like whenever I send a follow up someone that ghosts me, like they're like, um, 
like I send them the link and they just totally ghost. Like they don't say anything back. I'm like, Hey girl, you know, I, I'm saving the spot for you. No biggie. You know, I know life gets, life gets hectic. You might've forgot. Um, I just wanted to know, are you still interested in, in this boot camp this month? Either way, totally cool. Will you let me know either way or something like that? Like giving them the option to say no will make them a lot more prone to responding back to you. Um, and, and that's just, it's, it's all about keeping it light and airy. Like this one is a little long, but I like to keep all those components in there because I strategically put them in there. Um, but that might not work for your followers. The best thing about invites is your, I have changed mine so many times. I have notepads full of different invites, but these are the ones that have worked for me lately. Next week, they might not work for me anymore. But the best thing is to keep changing things until you find what works for you. And then when that works, ride it out until it doesn't work anymore and change it again. I've just started, um, I'm in a, a thread with a bunch of other leaders in my Uplines team. And a lot of the girls have started doing video invites. And I was like, that's cool. Like, I'm full of personality. It's good to hear the invite from my voice. I've had such good feedback with that. But again, I like to kind of switch it up. And so I do do a video invite and I basically say something like this. I'm like, Hey girl, thank you so much for liking my photo. It means the freaking world to me. Sometimes it, it's a little awkward putting posts out there, but I'm so appreciative that you enjoyed it. Um, I know you saw that it's about a boot camp. Would you be interested or know somebody who would be? And so again, I'm thanking them. I'm showing them that I appreciate them. And then I'm asking something for something in return. And that's basically what it is. I call it the Oreo effect. You got that yummy cream in the middle, but you got the two cookies. And so you give them a compliment with the delicious cookie. You give them a compliment on the bottom with the delicious cookie, and then you ask for something in return. And so they know that you appreciate them and that you, you believe in them and you compliment them. And then it's more prone for them to want to kind of respond back to you. And so now that's all about the inviting. Let me see if we have any questions. Chat. Okay, that must be why my likes went from like 45 to 20 because I always use the same ones. Yeah, girl, don't use the same ones because the Instagram will start just kind of blocking them. Um, okay, perfect. So here's the ends, or eh, that one's the one. So growing your Instagram for beginners. And so this is where it gets a little tedious and it's time consuming. You're not going to be able to grow your Instagram with amazing followers that engage in your posts overnight. It's just not going to happen. You will only grow it with bots that literally could give two shits about your, your content. And so here's how I started and I'll show you what I do now. Um, but at the beginning I searched hashtags. And so I didn't search fitness related hashtags. I didn't search like weight loss journey or Fitzbo or um, anything like that. I went from my 10, my list of 10, like things I enjoyed, and I would search those hashtags for people. And so I would go to like Dunkin' Donuts um, coffee hashtag and start following people that use that. Or I would go to, um, there's actually a hashtag for uh, moms who drink margaritas. And so I'd go to that hashtag and follow people. Um, and then there's like mom's night out and stuff like that. And I'd go to those hashtags and follow people. But you want to make sure they're not fitness related. You're less likely to attract other beach body coaches. And we don't really want to attract other beach body coaches. Um, because as much as we love them, they're not going to give us anything because they've already signed up with someone. And so this is where you really want to get to know yourself. Who are you like? Like, who are you trying to speak to? You're trying to speak to the other Shaylins or the other Emilys or the other Ashleys or I'm trying to speak to the other Allies. So if we're being, not being honest with about who we are, then we'll never get anywhere with these hashtags because we'll be speaking to the wrong people. And so that is one thing. Another thing to grow it, and I preferably enjoy this one other than the hashtags because normal normal people don't use hashtags. They just don't. I mean, they if they do, it's like really silly hashtags that are like super out of the box. 
Um, and so what I enjoy doing is I find things that I like. And then, like, I really, really enjoy, um, excuse me, I really, really enjoy Florida Bama, I really, really enjoy Florida Bama Shore. I know, it's like redneck as heck, but that's me. And so I actually are following several people from that show, and I will go to their followers and follow them, because that's something that we enjoy. I also really like um, the show, God, I was watching it today, of oh, the bold type. And so I will go to the bold type, and I will start following their followers. The same with The Bachelorette. I'll go to like Chris Harrison, because people who are following Chris Harrison probably like The Bachelorette, and that means we already have one thing in common. And so, you know, it, it, we likely have other things in common. They might likely be my person and I follow them. And so, but you can't just follow them. And that's the one thing that this is something that does take a little bit longer because if you follow them, they're going to be just like, okay, cool. But you've got to engage in their content too. And so what I did is I'd go to my Instagram, I'd find the person I wanted to follow. I would open up that profile like their first three pictures. I would comment on one of those pictures, something genuine. If you just comment an emoji, or if you just comment like nice shirt or cool blouse, or this is awesome, it doesn't mean anything. You want to have at least five words or more. I found that Instagram likes that because it shows as an engaging comment and that shows that you're engaging with other people. So you want it to be at least five words or more on that comment and like their page on every single person. And so like leave, like you don't have to be creepy about it. Like that's one thing, like people feel so creepy with like commenting on people they don't know's page, but then you'll comment on celebrities all the time. And so just don't be creepy about it. Like just, just be genuine. Just say, oh my gosh, like your hair is amazing. Like what color is that? Or like, um, oh my God, it, I would die to have those pants. Like, can you tell me where they are? from and it's an engaging i feel like having leaving a comment with a question and having the message back on that comment is a lot more engaging they'll be a lot more likely to follow you back um okay so that is how i grow it through hashtags and people you like and this is a good way to actually get those invites in also you can say you know hey girl i i I just had to follow you. Like I am obsessed with your page, you know, blah, 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 whatever. And there's another invite and it doesn't have to be something like super, you know, long or drawn out or a direct invite to a boot camp, but just telling them that you want to get to know them. You know what I mean? And so I would do that. And so here's kind of like a sample follow unfollow schedule. And so I would follow people Monday through Friday, follow a hundred people a day. I know you're like, this girl has done fell off her rocker. I can't do that. But y'all, if you want to grow your business and this is a little bit of tough love right now. So just bear with me. If you guys want to grow your business, you got to stop feeding yourself these BS excuses that you can't do this or you can't do that and start 10 xing stuff. You've got to start saying, if I'm just going to send five invites, the likelihood of someone messaging me back off of those five invites is very unlikely. But if I send 60 invites, I'm probably going to get about 10 to 20 people responding to me. So just stop saying, I don't have enough followers or I don't know I have enough people watching my stuff or I don't have enough, you know, people engaging where there's a will, there's a way. And if you're just sending all these follows and sending messages to them, telling them how much you enjoy their stuff, that's an invite because you're starting the engagement of the process. It's not going to go straight to beach body. No, definitely not. Cause that's creepy and salesy and we don't want to be that, but you're starting the engagement and you're starting the conversation so you guys can get to know each other and then you can invite them. Um, my rule of thumb is once they follow you, you send that initial, thank you for inviting, like, thank you for following me back. Or once you've already had that initial conversation, it's fair game for an invite up to a challenge group. And so I don't really have a specific time limit of when I wait, but it's usually anywhere between two to three weeks. I will invite them to a challenge group after we've had an initial conversation.
Um, and it's not creepy y'all they're in your business. Like that's one thing Like people don't, they don't want to send these invites because they feel like they're being cold or creepy or whatever. Y'all these people and Haley Christian said it best. Like Instagram is your business. This is your store, like a coffee store. You don't like someone you, when you go into Starbucks, you don't expect them not to talk to you about coffee, right? Like you don't want them, like you, if they start talking to you about coffee or buying a new coffee, like you're not weird, like you're totally weirded out, right? No. And so if they're on your Instagram, your Instagram's business, you're posting about your business. When you message them talking about what you've got to offer, it's not creepy. It's not stiff. You are there in your business. You are talking to them about business stuff. And so I know that was a little sidetracked, but I just had to say that. Um, so here's my sample follow unfollow schedule. And so Monday through Friday, I would follow a hundred people. So follow those hundred people, comment, like their photos, hundred people. Y'all break it up because you don't want to be doing all that at one time. So I have alarms set on my phone. Whenever I was doing this, I had alarms set on my phone and like every hour I would have like a, or not every hour, I think it was every three hours, I would have like a 15 minute timer. And for those 15 minutes, I would just follow people, comment. And once you get in the pace of a good hashtag or you find like a good page that you're following people from that can go so freaking quickly, like so quickly. And so Monday through Friday, I do that Saturday. I wouldn't follow anyone. I would still engage like and comment on people's stuff on my page. So I would take about an hour and engage with people because the more you engage, the more Instagram likes you. If you're just scrolling, 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 Instagram sees you as not really doing much. So they're not going to like you and bump your stuff as much. And so I would still engage and like and comment on people's stuff. And then Sunday, because Sunday, if they haven't, if by Sunday, they haven't followed me back, then they're not going to follow me back. And so Sunday I would go back and everyone who didn't follow me unfollow. I'm not prone on that follow and follow stuff. Like if they follow me, I don't want to unfollow them because I feel really like mean about that and creepy. And so, but if they don't follow me back, then I don't feel weird about unfollowing them. And so I give them, you know, if I invited them on Friday, give them two days to follow me back. Cause not everybody lives on social media like we do. And, but if it's on Monday, I gave them six days to follow me back. If they hadn't followed me back by then, they're not going to. And, and so I'm sure you're like, okay, well, how do I find how to, they unfollowed me? So here is my favorite apps to help you with your Instagram following. And so the one that I use to find if people unfollow me is followers. Um, and this one, it'll show you actually who's blocked you. If, if you pay, I think it's like a $4.99 or something, you can get all this stuff. But it, the free version will show you who, you're, who are you following, who has unfollowed you, who is not following you back. And so what I would do on Sundays that I'd go to that, who's not following you back and follow and follow and follow and follow and follow. And I mean, we're all sitting in our bed on our phones anyway, so we might as well be unfollowing people on Instagram. Um, now I paid for the higher version. So I do see who's blocked me, which I don't really care because people block me all the time. Um, or who has, um, like who isn't like in interacting with my stuff or who's, who's kind of just creeping. I can see all that stuff on there too. There's also a really cool chart to see how your Instagram has increased. So just for you guys to know, like in March, yeah, March, I had, I think it was like 2,100 followers. Now we're in July and I have almost 7,000. And so you guys can see this stuff works, but you've got to be consistent and it's not going to grow overnight. Before I would only have like maybe 10 to 15 likes on my photos. Now on a good photo, I'm getting seven to 800 likes. And so y'all, that is what it means. You just got to continuously growing it and showing consistency. If you're not consistently trying to grow it, it's not gonna consistently grow. Um, so a really good app that a lot of people use, I personally haven't used this one yet, but a lot of people say it's amazing, um, is Captivate. And so Captivate is an app. I think you have to pay $5 for the full version, but this way you can mass follow a bunch of people. And so you can go in 
and just kind of follow, 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 follow people. The only bad thing about that is you can't engage on their stuff through this app. And so you're not going to have as many follow backs, but you will be able to follow more people. And so you can follow, I think up to seven or 800 people on this one and then send it to your cloud. And then overnight it'll like follow these people and unfollow and or follow these people for you. Um, I would YouTube it. I'm not as familiar with it. I just know it works because a lot of people use it. And so I wanted to put it in this. Um, the cleaner app is exactly what the followers app does, but you can mass select to unfollow people. So on the followers app, you have to individually unfollow everybody. But on the cleaners app, you can hit select all and unfollow and it'll unfollow every single person for you. Um, again, you have to pay for this one. I think it's like four, three, four dollars. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but if you're using Captivate, to follow people, you want to use that cleaners app and they're from the same sister company. I, this is what I use right now. And so I know a lot of people are weirded out about bots and stuff like that. So bear with me and I will kind of go through the ins and outs because I've done a lot of research on this. So STEM social is what I use right now to grow my Instagram organically. And by organically, I mean, I have someone doing it for me. It's a bot, but I have hand selected the accounts that they're following from. And so on STEM social, you do have to pay for it. I think the lowest plan is $10 a month. And then I think I pay like 15 to 20 a month. I can't really remember. I know that's bad. Um, but this will has a bot that follows for you. And so what you do is you'll do some research on the accounts that you like that resonate with you, that you feel like their followers would be people that you would want on your page. And so like I am following um, on that, I have one other fitness influencer, influence, influ, influencer, sorry, that um, I think it's Erica Fit Love that I'm doing it from. And then I have a lot of mom bloggers and a lot of um, like fashion bloggers that I am having them follow people from that account. Um, there are, positives and there are negatives to this so I will get to those but it does take a lot of the hard work you can get this to message people I don't because I like to personalize my messages but a lot of people do um, but I don't want it to be messaging a beach buddy coach or something like that and that's just awkward so I still send all my messages so I don't use that feature um, sim social will show you which accounts you're getting the most followers back from and the best thing about it is it will also show you which accounts you're getting the most engagement from. So which accounts you're getting the most comments from, which accounts that you're getting the most likes from. So you know that these accounts are giving you people that enjoy your content. And so it is pricey. I mean, you do have to pay for it. Of course, it's not free, but I have found that it has helped my business significantly. Um, when I started using this, I was right at, I think 5,000 followers, maybe a little less. And now, like I said, I've gained like 1,700 and I've only been using this since last month. And so I haven't been using it a long time, but I did want to use it for a while before I talked about it. And so again, do your research. I enjoy it a lot. Um, I have it to where it stimulates like a person because Instagram, I mean, there's mixed reviews. Instagram's probably not the happiest with it but I have it stimulating um, like, like a person would follow. So it sleeps. So it only follows between a certain amount of time. So it sleeps throughout the night or whatever. Um, and then I only have it following up to, I think 2000 people. Um, and so it's not like an substantial amount. And so I might not grow as fast, but I'm not gonna get blocked either. All right, so that is all of that. So here is your homework. Everybody loves homework. Um, your homework will be to establish your hashtag list about 20 to 30 hashtags. So you have a good difference to be able to swap them out, change them and all that. And you want, this is going to change all the time, but you want to have one that is pretty solid. This will help you grow a lot faster. Grab a notebook. I'm telling you guys, if you don't do this, especially if you're on my team, 
coming for you because if you're doing your invites there's no reason you shouldn't be hitting success club i don't care what excuse you're telling yourself if you're doing your invites if you're posting if you're doing your vital behaviors you should be hitting success club minimally minimally and so grab your piece of paper as you guys can see i do this every single day like you can see all of them here grab your piece of paper Fold it in half. I don't really fold it. Number it. I've only done half of them today. One to 30, 31 to 60, or however many um, lines that your paper has. If your paper has more lines, do more invites. If it has less lines, use two pieces. <laughs> um, but grab a notebook, date it. So 7-11 today, or if you're doing it tomorrow, 7-12, and invite 60 people. You can use the same tips. Go to your comments, then go to your likes then go to your stories, then go to your followers. Um, invite, 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 invite. And when you think you've invited enough, invite some more. Because that is the only way right now as baby coaches that we're going to grow our organization is getting into people's inbox. We're not a traction market yet. We can't just expect us to put this amazing content out and people come to us. It just doesn't work that way. Even me at 6,500 followers or 7,000 followers, whatever, like people don't come to me. Still got to get into their inbox. Um, and then the third thing is follow on um, hundred people, follow hundred people, engage on 50 people's content. Um, and so you guys, this is going to help you following the people is what gets you growing. If you don't follow those people, it's, you're going to grow a lot slower. So download the followers app, follow people today, follow people tomorrow and Saturday and Sunday, you know, and then start over again, Monday, it's going to help you grow. And you're going to see if you download that followers app how it's been growing and so you know oh my god Allie was right it is growing and then you can come message me and tell me how awesome i am because remember i like compliments um okay i'm gonna stop sharing and see if we have any questions hi all right we got chat here we've got chat all right same i love florida bama yes it's so redneck but it's so good um is my jam too especially since i'm from that area <laughs> i go to panama all the time because i have family in panama um do you count private accounts even if they haven't accepted your follow request in 100 days yeah so i do um whenever i was following i would follow private accounts quite frequently just because obviously they're not in any network marketing so i enjoy finding those people that don't use hashtags that aren't you know super into it and those are kind of my people um so yeah i would count them into my hundred followers a day even if they haven't accepted it because i mean chances are they're going to accept it but if they don't then i mean it's probably only a light amount of people um do you actually follow them immediately or wait until they engage back Okay. Can I answer that? Okay. Alarm's great way to break it up. You said what was the followers app, right? Um, yeah, it's just called followers. All of those apps are for iPhones. If you have an Android, throw it away and go get an iPhone. I mean, that's all I can really say because I don't really know why anyone would want an Android. Um, but yeah, all of those are for iPhone. I'm sure Android would have their own version or maybe they are android compatible i just don't know yes alarms i use alarms for everything so if you look at my phone i've got a million gajillion different alarms um to remind me because i'm a mom as you guys could see i had my child sitting in my lap as i'm doing this training and so alarms help me say okay i need to do this because i still even though i'm a full-time beach body coach i still work in power pockets and so i still work in like 15 minute increments each hour um, until bedtime and then I get some solid work done. And so I do use alarms for my invites. So I only invite 10 people at each time up into my 60. Um, and so I use alarms for those and then I use timers. So my alarm will tell me when to do it and I'll do it for 15 minutes and I'll set a timer for that 15 minutes. Once that 15 minutes is up, I put it up and I move on. And then if I didn't complete in that 15 minutes, I'll schedule it in my planner for uh, later on in the day. I do use an hour by hour planner to try to keep all this mass chaos in my head in order. Doesn't always work. Would we need to use all those apps? No. So those are just a few different options on apps. Um, I would recommend if you don't use, 
So if you use Captivate to help grow your following quicker, get the cleaner app. Those go hand in hand. Um, but if you're just doing the following 100 people a day by yourself, just get the regular followers app that I had um, posted on there and it will serve you just and that's all you need. The STEM social one is not an app. It's on a website and that was just for me to be able to talk about what I'm doing now. Um, I don't recommend you doing it like right out the gate because it is a financial investment. But once you start growing, it might be easier because it's harder to get those hundred followers in a day. Um, alarms would be great to break it up. Okay. Do we have any more questions? Anything else? Nope. All right. Perfect. Well, if you guys have any questions, talk to me or you can comment on the video or anything and I'll try to get back to you. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much. And I shall talk to you guys later. Happy following.